Hi everyone, it's a beautiful sunny day in Tallenberg. We're here with Henry, who is on a mission to go back to Scalitz and bury his parents. Can we safely help him get there? Let's find out. Such epic music. Ooh, a combat arena. Don't worry, we are safe. I wonder how much we should explore in here before we uh head off on the road. Jesus Christ be praised. Can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? You want Votova, the fellow that fixes the weir at the Tamburg fish pond. He should be around the granary somewhere. We don't have money for that kind of thing. What do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sir Divish is and all that, but it was a dangerous situation. That Sigismund is awful, unpredictable. He abducts the king, raids towns, brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. Hmm. Okay. May the Lord watch over you. I wonder if I can find another trough to uh, quickly rinse myself in before we head out. Look, it's all about the season. Just it roast it with a bit of lard, the, the same season. But as one of the soldiers. Oops, we were already this way. Let's see. I'm terrible with directions. In real life and in game. Oh, I have to talk to Sir Robert. Okay. Robert? Robert? I can't remember. It's been a bit. Here he is. My respects to you. Where did these humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power. Something I noticed is everyone goes like this. Everyone when they're talking. It doesn't matter the subject. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier. But the good lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me. Because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas. Wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? I don't know. Hmm. Let's try that. Because the lords there could have risen against him with their armies and stopped his conquest of the Bohemian territories? That's part of it. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here, too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. Sir Robart, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, 
deserters and other vermin. Sounds dangerous. Anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Let's use our regular speech here. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. <sighs> Good God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Well, I'm sad that failed. We're still gonna go. Let's see what's new on the map. Hmm. Oh. We can fast travel. Seems like a good idea. Look at this map, it's huge. We have a lot of unexplored places too. I like the art on this a lot. Alright, let's see. Can't grab those cabbages. Stay here overnight to be on the safe side and go back to the fields tomorrow. By tomorrow morning, we can't eat from the same pot again. Excuse me. Let's see, where are we now? I'm wondering if we should hit these places first. Let's make a marker there. Don't think this is the right way. I'll find out momentarily. Yep, I'm in a private area. I feel like that's going to happen a lot in this game. Henry doesn't know good boundaries. At least we found a trough. Can we jump from here? Would that be a wise idea? This guard will probably not let me through. God be with you. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Didn't know there were all these eyes on me. Ooh, could deceive him. I feel like that'll get me in more trouble if it doesn't work. Let's try it. Not any longer. I have vital information for Sir Radzig from Sir Divish's spies. The fate of the Scalet's people depends on it. Sir Robard ordered me to leave immediately, so let me out quickly. A likely story. Dang it. Better clear off before I lose my temper. Oh, well. Will he have sympathy for our story? My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. Hmm. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. Okay, okay, this is progress. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I'll let him go. That's obvious. All right. I'll have a look around for something. Nice. Okay. Good luck to you. Let's look for that stuff. I'm guessing it'll be up in that area that we were in earlier.
Maybe. Hmm. God be with you. God be with you. Okay, thanks. Excuse me. What are you doing here? Get off. Hmm. Nothing back here. Oh. Why is everything locked? Can I go up here? No. Alright. Time to check the map again. That's pretty much where we are. Maybe in here. I don't have a lock pick, but I was hopeful. Hmm. God it's save. my friend, Lady Can Stephanie. I help you with anything? I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? Let's try... Oh, I have stats for her. Awesome. Okay. Let's try that one. My lady, I know you have a good heart. I can't live with the thought of my parents being left in the mud to be food for stray dogs. How can their souls find peace until they rest in hallowed ground? My dear boy, yes. you'd risk your own life to give them a Christian burial. My heart goes out to you. I will do what I can to help, though I'll tremble in fear until your return. But what can I do? If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But... But you can, if you wear a proper suit of armor. Everybody's got the same idea. Your face, he won't recognize you, and he'll let you go. Good thinking. And where can I get the armor? At the armory. Where's I didn't that? even know you had an armory. In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. I'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujit. To ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money. and Unfortunately, I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. I will repay you, I swear. Yay, whoa, 25. We're Thank rich. You, my lady. I must go now. I wonder how much guards made at this time anyway. God bless. Oh, god damn it, my stomach hurts. Okay, Henry, calm down. Let's go find you some food somewhere. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try to find that armory she was talking about. Is there any food here? Let's go down here. Did we check this room? I can't remember.
Oh, I think this is where we were the other night when I almost fell down. Yeah, this was the weird spot, I think. Well, it's much better now that I can actually see. Uh. Oh! We just fell. Is this- uh, that one's locked, too. It's not gonna be easy, huh? Let's use the ladder properly this time. Any of these open? No. Could do with a bite to eat. I know, Henry. Sorry. Let's open this. Okay, and we came full circle. Go back in here. Oops, excuse me. Let's go out this way. There's the food here. Here we go. Some roasted duck. Little mash. Don't mind if I do. Some good old cheese. Okay. Let's go here to our inventory. Let's go ahead and eat the mash. Eat the duck. Are we good now? Let's take some more for the road. Okay, so what else do we have on our map here? Oops. From the guardhouse above the gate. Oops, sorry. I'm assuming it's up there. Where we just were. I think. Or... Somewhere here, maybe? We'll find out soon enough. If I'm remembering correctly from the last time I played this, I think this part took me a while. So I apologize if it does again. Okay, we were just here earlier. Is there someone that I can buy a lockpick from? I wonder if the trader has one. Where is our trader? This him? No. Who told you such a thing? It's true, I swear. My brother gave that. Let's check our good old map again. There it is. This guy? No. This guy. Good health to you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Good luck I believe we do. Let's see. 
Okay. Let's add a healthy amount just in case. Let's check our basket. Let's try to haggle. Let's see. So, oh, yeah, that's a lot of money. That's almost all of our money. Okay, let's remove another one. All right, we'll have two chances. Can we do something about the price? Naturally. Oh, that's not the way we want to go. Let's do... 27. Agree? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. I think we're getting a little better on this. But that. Aye. For that amount, I can nice. be persuaded. Got some reputation for being a good customer, I guess. All right, where were we before? Uh, it wasn't this way, was it? It was the other way. Yes. Okay. That guard isn't very good at watching. Let's try to lockpick this. Let's get some help, because I forget how this works. Okay, so you hold down E. Okay, so when our cursor turns bold is when we're in the good spot. Use the lock pick. Press D to turn the whole lock mechanism. Try it. Ooh. I wish this would go a little bit slower. Yikes. Okay. We're so close. Try it again. We're gonna blow all of Stephanie's money on these lockpicks. Are we getting any progress here? Do I have to make a full rotation? Oh, that was so close. So I'm assuming we broke both of those. This is gonna be a process, for sure. Can we try? Okay. Let's buy some more. Try to haggle our way That's through this one. About the price. Naturally. You were really nice to me last time, so let's hope we can do that again. What do you say to this? More. Ooh. Okay. Satisfied? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Okay. Ooh, we're making him mad. Oh, no. See, now, I knew we'd come to an oh, agreement. Yeah. I thought he was going to be really mad. 
Okay. So we got two more chances at this. Maybe I should read the tutorial one more time, just to be sure that I'm doing it right. Let's go to... Oh, where were our tutorials from last time? Was it in our codex? Yes. Okay. Lock picking. Okay. So let's try this again. It says it's supposed to be easy, but I don't know about that. Yes, we did it. Let's rob all this stuff. Great. Okay. So let's... Oh, look at him. He is all dressed up and ready to go. Yeah, because those are all the things that we robbed, right? Yes. Great job, Henry. That advice makes sense. Don't sell stuff in the same place that you, uh, stole it. Okay, so let's get out of here in the rain. Let me see which way we're going again, because I forget. We want to go... Uh... This way, I'm assuming? I don't think that's what soldiers say to each other. Oops. Where was our gate to the outside? Is it this way? I think so. I'm getting there. I'm getting better. Day to you. What do you need? Need to get out of here. Wink. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone, good luck to you. Your secret safe with me. Now open this gate. There we go. Yay! All right, we did it. Okay, well I think this is probably a good place to stop for now. Sorry I wasn't too action-packed, but at least we got a good disguise going, we got some armor to protect him in case things get hairy and scallops, and um, yeah, we'll see how Henry makes it. Thanks again for joining me, and take care!